Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the, the remainder theorem for polynomials. Um, so the remainder theorem states that uh, if a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus r, where r is a uh, number, um, the remainder is given by p of r. So basically what this theorem says is that uh, if you divide this by uh, x minus r, remainder you can get alternatively by just plugging r in uh, the place of x there so evaluating the polynomial at x equals to r all right so let's see if uh, we can uh, prove this um, so um, we, we know that uh, when we divide uh, the polynomial p of x by x minus r, we always get a quotient q of x. Then we're going to get a remainder r, and then this over x minus r. Okay. So of course, uh, this uh, this uh, right hand side we can write alternatively. Uh, as follows, so we can write this as q of x remainder r. But we are more interested in this form of it. And then if we multiply everything by x minus r, so I'll multiply by x minus r, then what's going to happen on the left hand side? We're going to have this over x minus r uh, times x minus r uh, and then on the right hand side we are going to get uh, x minus r times q of x and then in the final term we're going to get a r over x minus r times x minus r okay then uh, this is going to cancel out and that's going to cancel out so what this thing is telling us is that uh, p of x we can write as x minus r times q of x uh, plus r this is actually something we've already established uh, in uh, our video entitled uh, introduction to polynomial division now um, this expression here uh, is true for all values of x uh, so this is true for all values of x so in fact we can um, substitute any value of x we want at this particular point we're going to plug in x equals to r so the left hand side is going to be p of r so wherever we see x we're going to plug in r the first term on the right hand side is going to be r minus r and then of course this one is a constant it just remains r um, then this first term works out to zero so this is just telling us that uh, p of r is equal to remainder and so that completes the proof okay so that is the remainder theorem um, a uh, close related uh, theorem is uh, what is called the factor theorem um, so the factor theorem applies in case this remainder is zero okay so what the factor theorem says is that uh, if the remainder is zero so rem remember the remainder is p of r the remainder is zero uh, then x minus r is a factor of p of x 
in the situation of dividing these two so if this is zero then this is a uh, a factor um, and uh, the converse applies uh, so let's say here yeah, and conversely uh, the conversely means if x minus r is a factor then p of r is going to be zero okay um, let's just add something else here um, so in fact uh, if x minus r is a factor then always uh, x equal to r is going to be a root of the polynomial p of x uh, so this is closely related to this uh, factor theorem here okay um so perhaps let's uh, look at uh, uh, some examples where these uh, theorems uh, can apply all right um so in these uh, examples we are going to want to determine whether each of the devices uh, is a factor of the given polynomial um, so when we divide this by this if it is a factor the remainder is going to be zero if it is not a factor uh, then the remainder is going to be non-zero so all we need to do is to determine the remainder and then that is going to tell us what is happening so in the first case uh, what we are going to do um, our d of x is x minus 2 um, so if we take this and equate it to 0 and uh, solve then this gives us r is equals to 2 this is the same r as uh, this one here um, or, or this one there okay so then the remainder we can obtain by plugging this into the polynomial we do that this is going to be 2 cubed minus 7 times 2 squared 3 times 2 plus 3 uh, 2 cubed is 8 uh, 7 times 2 squared is going to be 7 times 4 it's going to be 28 and then plus 6 plus 3 um, so this is going to be minus 20 plus 9 is going to be minus 11 this is different from 0 so this is telling us that x minus 2 is not a factor of the given polynomial which is x cubed minus 7x squared plus 3x plus 3 okay um, then in B um, if we take the divisor and equate to 0 and solve so x plus 3 is 0 tells us that x is negative 3 so the remainder is going to be p of negative 3 um, and the polynomial we've got x cubed minus x squared plus 36 so we're going to have negative 3 cubed minus negative 3 squared plus 36 okay negative 3 cubed is negative 27 this is going to be minus 9 plus 36 so this is going to be minus 36 plus 36 this is 0 
So this is telling us that x plus 3 is a factor of x cubed minus x squared minus 36. Okay. In um, um, in 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 if you note what we say here, so if x minus r is a factor, then x equals to r is always a root. So we can add here that x equal to negative 3 is a root of uh, the same polynomial. Sorry, this is plus 36 here. All right. Um, so we're now going to give you uh, the uh, opportunity to have a go at uh, this third example here. You can just pause the video and then work through it. When you continue the video, then you're going to find our answer. All right, uh, we're now going to scroll down to our solution for part C. Uh, please uh, do remember to uh, subscribe. We um, appeal to you to subscribe to our channel uh, and we hope that these videos are useful to you so for part C uh, first we take the divisor equated to 0 so it gives us x equals to negative 1 so that's our R so if you plug that into the polynomial that is going to give us the remainder when the polynomial is divided by x plus 1 and in this case we find that the remainder is 0 if the remainder is 0, it means x plus 1 is a factor of this polynomial. And so x equals to negative 1 is a root. All right. Um, in the next video, we're going to look at more examples that apply um, the remainder theorem and the factor theorem.